viewers, you join us in the mountains with a legend, an icon, the latest motorcycle from the BMW GS range. This is the R1300GS. They tell us it is the most significant generational change in the lineup yet. In terms of styling, the previous 1250 was the size of a planet. It was huge, it had its own presence on the road. In comparison, this one is more sleeker, more friendly to look at, and even to ride. You feel like you're not sitting on a planet anymore. Okay, now, moving on to the riding experience. Ride and handling is easily described as simpler when compared to the motorcycle this thing replaces because this motorcycle weighs 237 kilograms that's a 12 kilo weight loss over the motorcycle it replaces there was a lot of uproar about the new frame because this one is steel while the subframe is in a cast aluminium section and what that gives this motorcycle is exceptional stiffness, which makes it handle very well through corners and even on fast off-road sections. So that, when combined with the weight loss throughout the motorcycle, makes this extremely easy to handle on the twisties and even off-road, where the most important thing for any rider is that once you get moving, you are not aware that this thing weighs in excess of 200 kilograms. My next favorite bit, or rather interesting bit of engineering is that while the previous BMW's forks were mounted onto the triple clamp with a bearing, this one is rigidly mounted, which means all the input that you give at the handlebar goes only into steering the motorcycle, giving you extra confidence at high speeds. My biggest highlight in the R1300GS has to be this new boxer engine, which makes this engine's character closer to a sport bike than compared to the previous motorcycle. But it still has everything that one needs to run in an ADV. 145 horsepower, 149 Newton meters. And of those 149 Newton meters, you get most of it very early in the rev range from 2,500 and onwards. And that makes this motorcycle incredibly tractable and fun to ride on off-road sections and even to belt around on twisty roads. Although the front end gives you a lot of grip, a lot of confidence, there is still some lack of front end feel, but that you can get over once you're used to the motorcycle. Up here in the mountains at this altitude, this engine is still not making its full potential, but even then it has been nothing short of enjoyable to ride this motorcycle all day. And I would say that despite being such a large ADV, the way that they have built this motorcycle makes it very friendly, very easy to use. So if you ask me, will you go around the world on this one? It will not take me long to say yes. So what is the price going to be? Definitely a 10 to 15% premium over the current R1250 GS. And is it worth the money for the amount of tech it offers, the amount of capabilities it offers? I think the R1300 GS is exceptional. There it is, that's everything, or rather the most essential things you need to know about the R1300 GS. Our time with this motorcycle has been limited, so we are not able to bring you a lot of things that we would have liked to try. But the first impressions are extremely positive. If there's anything else you want us to let you know, do leave them in the comments. Like, share and subscribe as always. This is Joshua Verghese signing off for Bike Indoor.